National presentation of Auto Shop Safety on public television was made possible by BASF, makers of Xerox Antifreeze and Coolant. Auto Shop Safety. Number five. Working on the car. In the last program, you were shown how to work safely with a battery charger and power tools like the pedestal grinder and drill press. In this program, you'll see how to safely use equipment like an overhead chain fall and electronic wheel balancer. The first step in working on a car is getting it inside the shop. This may seem simple, but unless you pay attention to safety rules, it can become dangerous. Many shops allow entry through an electrically operated overhead door. Most doors have controls for three functions, open, close, and stop. Don't drive a vehicle into the shop until the door is completely raised. Wait until the vehicle is all the way inside the shop before closing the door. Stand by the controls while the door is in operation. If a mechanic or vehicle attempts to enter the shop while the door is closing, someone should be by the controls to stop the overhead door to prevent damage or injury. Never leave an electrically operated overhead door while it's in use. Looks like it's one and eight tenths out uh, on the inside. Uh, Want to put a weight in there? These students are balancing a wheel on an electronic wheel balancer. It's something that's done every day in the shop. And with the wheel being spun up at high rates of speed, safety is to be kept in mind at all times. Let's go over some of the important safety factors of this machine. An electronic wheel balancer checks weight distribution on the wheel. To check a wheel, place it on the balancer. Make sure the wheel is tightened on the machine. This mechanic is using a rubber hammer to tighten the wheel. After it's tightened, lower the safety cover before starting the machine. The electronic wheel balancer will locate a heavy spot on the wheel. Once the heavy spot is located, the wheel can be properly balanced by placing a weight on the wheel rim to counteract the heavy spot. Make sure the weight is placed securely on the rim. Always be alert when working on the electronic wheel balancer. Another unbalanced wheel balancer? Right. In there. Okay. It's often necessary that an engine be started while a car is in the shop. This can be very dangerous. A running engine produces carbon monoxide. You may not see it or smell it, but inside a closed shop, this poisonous gas can kill you. Therefore, never work on a running car without proper ventilation. This shop has a floor ventilation system. A hose is connected to the car's tailpipe. Carbon monoxide flows through the hose into a floor vent and out of the shop. Some mechanics will run a hose directly out the shop door. However it is done, make sure carbon monoxide is removed from the shop. While the car is running, the engine produces a great deal of heat. In most cars, this heat is carried away by a liquid cooling system. Part of this system is the radiator. The radiator cap keeps the fluid in the radiator under pressure in order to raise the boiling point and prevent overheating. Pressurized radiator fluid can be dangerous. If the radiator cap is removed while hot pressurized fluid is in the radiator, the fluid will boil and erupt out the top of the radiator. Never 
Remove a radiator cap while the engine is still warm. Wait until the engine has cooled to check the fluid level. A mechanic needs to move around under a car for repair work. To do this, a creeper is used. Creepers give mechanics mobility and allow them to get close to their work. However, when they are not being used, creepers can be hazardous. A creeper left in a walking area can easily cause an accident. When you are temporarily not using a creeper, push it under the car where it will not be in anyone's path. When you're finished for the day, stand the creeper on its end in a remote area where it won't be in the way. Never use a creeper as a skateboard. The only award for riding a creeper is a trip to the emergency ward. Looks like another creeper champ to me. Some types of engine repair work require that the engine be removed from the car. This can be done with a portable engine crane. The portable engine crane uses a hydraulic mechanism similar to that of the hydraulic jack to lift the engine. The crane is wheeled to the car. In this case, the crane is lifting an engine that's already out of the car. A lifting chain is bolted to the engine block. Make sure the bolts are securely attached to the block. The lifting chain is attached to the hook on the crane. Now, pump the jack handle to lift the engine. Stay clear of the engine at all times. If, for any reason, the engine would fall, it could cause a serious injury. Here's an example of a dangerous situation that can occur while using the portable engine crane. These mechanics have overextended the lift arm. The weight is now poorly distributed. As the jack handle is pumped, the engine crane is moving instead of the engine. Eventually, the crane will topple forward, endangering everyone in the area. Never overextend the lift arm, and pay attention to what you're doing when using the portable engine crane. Another way to lift engines or other heavy objects is with an overhead chain fall. The overhead chain fall runs on a track that circles the shop. Anything being lifted must be brought directly beneath the chain fall. This piece of equipment is also commonly used to lift engines. Again, when lifting an engine, make sure the lifting chain is securely bolted to the engine block. The chain fall hook is attached to the lifting chain. A pulley system is then used to raise the engine. As with the portable engine crane, stay clear of the engine while it is hooked to the chain fall. Mechanics should never ride the chain fall around the shop. This is a sure way to get hurt. Take your time and pay attention when you're working with the overhead chain fall. All right, Ron, let's get ready to lift this engine. All right, set your hook. That's good. Remember, when lifting heavy objects like this engine, always follow your safety rules. If you don't, you might wind up taking a trip to the hospital. Now, let's review the key points of this program. One, stay by the controls of the electronic overhead door you should always be prepared to stop the door. Two, never remove the radiator cap on a warm engine. Hot radiator fluid will shoot out of the radiator. This concludes the Auto Shop Safety Series. Review the programs if there are any questions. Remember, safety in the auto shop is a full-time job.